What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we are going to take a little break and talk about something really, really special. Celebrating milestones as a DJ. It's not always just about the music. It's about the journey, the memories, and the achievements along the way. So, grab something to drink, hang out for a few minutes, and let's chat. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who has liked, commented, and subscribed to the channel. You guys are rock stars. I'm trying to kick these videos back up now as often as I possibly can. If you guys saw my last video, I'll throw a link somewhere, somewhere up top. And uh, you guys may have seen, I got some wild, crazy stuff happening in my life now. I accepted a new position as Chief Marketing Officer for an incredible company. And it's just taken up a lot of my time. So I haven't really been able to focus a whole lot on creating content for my channel. But I'm going to try and keep doing it, keep putting videos up on a regular basis so that all my followers and subscribers and fans and friends and all that you guys can uh, just keep watching this stuff and all the crazy stuff that I put up on my channel. All right, so let's let's dive into this, all right? As DJs, whether you're a wedding DJ, a nightclub DJ, private event DJ, a radio DJ, I don't know, there's millions of different types of DJs, but as a DJ, we are not just spinning tracks. We're part of people's most cherished moments, no matter what type of event it is. From that first gig where you nervously hit play and your anxiety is going through the roof to the countless celebrations that we've all been part of since then. If you are an established DJ and been doing this for years, each event holds a special place in many of our hearts. It's the personal milestones that remind us why we do what we do. The joy of the bride's face, the kid's face when we're doing a birthday party, the corporate client when we're doing their big company event. Those, how do I put it? Let's just say that joy that you see when that person's favorite song comes on, the laughter of the guests as they hit the dance floor, those moments that make all the late nights and long weekends worth it. Now remember, beyond the personal milestones, there are also the professional achievements that mark our growth as DJs. Whether it's mastering the art of reading the room, reading the dance floor, reading the crowd, refining our mixing skills, being able to transition and match beats and mix in a much more creative way, whether it's tone play, key play, word play, uh, scratching, juggling, all different types and all different aspects of mixing, or just building a reputation in the industry. Every single milestone is a testament to our dedication and passion to our craft. From booking that first solo gig to being recognized as one of the top DJs in your location, these are the types of achievements not only validate our hard work, but also inspire us to reach even greater heights. It's always important to reflect and look ahead. As we celebrate all of our milestones as a DJ, it's very, very important to take a moment to reflect on how far we've come and where we're headed next. You always want to look forward, look to the future. What else can you accomplish as a DJ? What have we learned along the way in our journey? What challenges have we overcome? And most importantly, guys, what are our goals for the future? It could be expanding our repertoire, exploring new genres, venturing into other aspects of the entertainment industry. There's so much room to move forward and there's so many different paths that we can go. If you're a DJ and you're thinking, okay, I have gone as far as I possibly can, 
then you're not pushing yourself more or further because there's always room to grow, always room to learn more, always that creative aspect to do bigger and better things as a DJ. The possibilities are endless. But no matter how far you go as a DJ, you will always carry the memories of weddings and private events and all the cool shit that you guys have done. And these are the important things that uh, you mark as a milestone that you personally can celebrate along the way. That's it. That's all I got, guys. It's just a quick short video, but I thought it was very important for us to just recognize our milestones, really take a look at everything that we have accomplished as DJs, all the incredible events, how far we've come from that very first time of playing in public. Again, whether it's a wedding, a private event, a birthday, even if you think back the very first time you played at a bar or a nightclub or something where you were booked to play music for people. These milestones are just so, so important when you look back on how far you've come, whether it's a short time, a long time, whatever. Listen, guys, if you've got milestones uh, or moments of your own and you want to share, you want to talk about them, comment below. Let me know. I love hearing the growth of DJs and how far they've come along and the exciting milestones that they've achieved over the years. So let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, send me a message, send me an email. I'm all over social media. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll try to keep putting new videos out as often as I can when my CMO duties, duties don't exactly take over my whole life. But as of right now, those CMO duties are pretty much taking over my life. So I will try to put out videos as soon as whenever I can, when I have the time. You guys, you guys know what it's like. So uh, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And as I always say at the end of all my videos, a day without dancing is a day wasted. Go out there, be a good human, be an awesome DJ, achieve incredible things, achieve those milestones, and be proud of of how far you have come as a DJ. Keep learning, keep moving forward, keep being awesome, and keep the beats alive. Until next time, guys, talk to you soon.